Debbie Marcou is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight under the California Residential Mortgage Lender Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, 76508, Georgia, 69178, Illinois, 031.0058339, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, 237926. Heidi Cycle Points, DBO, 1666881, Arizona, 101648. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. All right, well, welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. This is my home buyer workshop, and this is unit number three. So, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to go through the VA loan program, and uh, we're going to just kind of hit it. What do you need to do? What's going to help you get there? We're going to go through a couple of things in between, but if you like these videos, you find them educational, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, make sure you guys turn on the all bell so that you know when we do upload the next video, when we go live Wednesdays at five, we want you to be able to follow us, watch them with us, ask us questions, and we're going to get those answered for you. So the very first thing that we want to talk about, if I can get my clicker to work, um, is, let's see, here we go. All right. So. Text MOM to 36260. That is how you're going to get our phone app, and it's going to give you everything that you need to have at the tip of your fingers for trying to find a new home and even refinancing. So when you do go to that calculator button, there will be an option for purchase, refinance, or affordability, which is going to give you a little bit of an idea what you can or cannot qualify for. What you see in affordability if you do run that calculator will be a little bit different than what we do with you when we take the application. We can usually push you to a higher limit than what you would see on this calculator. It is pretty conservative, but it gives you a great idea. Purchase, refinance, you guys want to know how much money can I save every month if I refinance or what does that payment look like on that house that I just saw on Redfin? Uh, It's going to give you all that information based on the loan program that you decide is best for you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into those loan programs. But if you want to know how to contact us, it's all up on the screen right now. So you guys can text the word mom to 36260 to get that phone app. Follow us on Facebook watch us on YouTube. All you got to do is search Mortgage Mom Radio in anywhere at all that you go and you're going to find us. You can call us as always at 844-935-3634. And if you want to see what other people have said about us, go to Yelp and check it out. If you guys enjoy these videos and you really like, you want us to keep doing them, give us a Yelp review. We'd really appreciate that. That helps us out a lot. But again, if you guys can, please put a thumbs up on this video Subscribe to the channel and share it. The more that we can get in our algorithm to get out there, the more people that we can help. So we're going to go ahead and jump into loan programs. And the t- today's loan program that we're going to focus on is going to be VA. Next week, we're going to do conventional and we'll go through all of the different programs. Jumbo, bank statement, USDA, we're going to hit them all. So make sure you continue to follow us week after week to get all of the information. So the first thing that you can see up on the screen watching the PowerPoint with me right now is what are we going to do to try to figure out what loan program works best for you? So we're going to consider your budget. You know, what's a comfortable monthly payment for you? Where do you want to be? Are you a home? Are you looking at buying this as an investment property? Are you looking at buying this to live in it? Um, How is your tax base is going to change? So once you own a house, like we talked about in our last workshop, you know, benefits of homeownership, you're going to get to write off that mortgage interest. You're going to get to write off those property taxes. So that means you're going to be able to spend a little bit more per month because what you're going to either owe or get back in a refund will either be less or bigger. So, you know, we can talk about how will your tax basis change. You can talk to your CPA. We can give you numbers to figure out what can or can't you do. Another great part of considering what your budget is and whether this is a good idea to buy a home is to use some rent versus own calculators. And you can find those. Just type them into Google. They're all over the place. Realtor.com's got a great one. But it'll show you the difference between what you're paying in rent and if you own something, what would you pay there? And what is the difference? Where's your equity after so many years, et cetera? So definitely consider your budget when determining which loan program works best for you. How much money do you have available for down payment? Um, you know, all of that good stuff. So how are we going to actually determine which program that we're going to put you in, VA, FHA, USDA, conventional, 
all of that is going to be based on what is your credit score. We're going to take your middle one. And if there's two of you, we're going to take the lowest middle. So everybody out there knows there are three credit bureaus. There's TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And we are going to run all three bureaus for every borrower on the loan. We are going to take the lowest middle score and that is what we're going to use for qualifying purposes. So if your credit score is a little bit lower and you've got a low down payment, you're not a veteran, we're going to probably talk to you about FHA. If your credit score is really high and you've got a low down payment and you're not a veteran, we're going to talk to you about conventional. If you are a veteran, we're going to talk about a VA loan if you've got very little down. If you've got a large down payment, 20% down, 25 30% down, we're going to talk about conventional. We may not talk about VA. That might not be your best bet, even if you are a veteran. So all of the things that are on my screen, and again, if you guys are listening to me on Saturday morning and you're hearing this piece of the show, go to YouTube and check it out. You guys can see the PowerPoint. You can see me do it. You can absorb a little bit more by being able to read it and hear it at the same time. Um, but we're going to go through what is your credit score. Um, mortgage insurance, you know, is based on your credit score. And, you know, where is it going to be less expensive? If you've got a little bit lower credit score, FHA is going to have a little bit better mortgage insurance monthly than if you have a high credit score with conventional. Conventional, a low mortgage, uh, low credit score is going to give you higher mortgage insurance. So, again, we're going to try to figure out what works best for your needs. Um, jumbo financing requires a much higher credit score. So, you know, if you could possibly qualify for jumbo, but we could squeeze you into conventional and your credit score is a little bit lower, we're going to try to go ahead and squeeze you into that conventional loan because you're, you're going to do better than you would on a jumbo. Um, and then obviously, you know, is it possible to quickly increase your score to allow for different options? That is something that we can also talk to you about. So credit repair is definitely part of which loan program do you qualify for? How long do you want to wait to buy your home? Do you have some time to do some quick fixes that we can get that credit score up and get you into a different loan program? Your down payment, like I mentioned earlier, if you've got low down payments, large down payments, if you're using a gift for the down payment, if your employer's going to give you a loan for the down payment, um, are you going to borrow against your 401k? All of these things are going to determine which loan program works best for you. So truly to know exactly what program that you need or what's going to work best or what your options are, the best thing to do is to call us, get on the calendar, let's talk, let's go through you, let's discuss what you've got going on, Where is what is your situation, and then we're going to talk about all the different loan programs and then which one seems to be your very best fit. So um, again, reach out to us. We're here to help. If you've got that handy phone app like I told you to, you can email me from it, you can call me from it. Um, if you want to give the office a call, you can call us. You want to put a question right into the feed, you guys can do that. You're going to get your answers, but get on the calendar. Talk to me or somebody on the team. Let's go through your scenario and figure out what works best for you. Um, but today we are focusing on VA, and we want to go through what those benefits are of VA. Anybody that is out there that is active, National Guard, uh, a veteran, you guys all have VA eligibility, and you can buy a home with your VA loan. And it is really a great loan. It is zero down payment. So if you want to buy a home, you can literally get in with zero down. That's at any loan limit. There are no loan limits on a VA loan. Most, con um, well, every, all conforming loans, conventional loans have a loan limit. All FHA loans have a loan limit. VA is the only loan program that has no loan limit. Now, that doesn't mean that anybody gets to qualify for any sales price and loan amount that they want. You still have to qualify. There's debt to income ratios and things that we have to uh, look at and make sure that you can qualify to pay your loan back. But you are not actually um, stuck to a loan limit. So if you're looking in a county that has a lower loan limit than another county might, that you're, you're not constricted with VA. We can absolutely get you in with zero down and there is no loan limit. So keep that in mind. There is no mortgage insurance on a VA loan, which is fantastic. There is no loan program out there that I am aware of that is a zero down with no mortgage insurance except USDA. That is the only other loan program that does not have monthly mortgage insurance. So um, that is another great benefit of your VA financing. So this is old. I didn't update this, so we're going to scratch that and pretend like we don't see it, um, where it says loan size up to $1 million. 
That was actually all the way through to 2019. At the beginning of 2020 is when they changed it and said that there are no loan limits. So scratch that, ignore it. That's wrong. I forgot to take it out of my PowerPoint. Um, there is no loan limit on a VA loan. Uh, lower credit score requirements. You guys, VA loans are really great. They're, they, they have, um, they're, they're good to you. They're, they leave you room. If you've got some credit damage, a lot of times it's okay. We can go down as low as a 580 credit score on a VA loan. So if you were thinking, oh, my credit's just not very good. I don't, I don't think I can get a loan. You know what? There's a really good chance with a VA loan, if you have that eligibility, that we can get you into one. So um, don't let that restrict you. Obviously, the higher that your credit score is, the better that the interest rate will be that you will get for your loan. Your interest rate is based on your credit score. So we want to get your credit score up. We want to help you get your credit score up if you are in that lower range. But it's absolutely not a no, even if you've got a little bit of, um, you know, a little trouble with the credit report. So you, again, you want to call us and talk to us about it and see, see what we can do for you. All right, so lower interest rates. Uh, VA loans have very, very good interest rates. And historically, government loans, both VA and FHA, have had lower interest rates than conventional jumbo USDA loans have had. Now, believe it or not, a USDA loan is actually a government loan, but it follows more of the underwriting guidelines of a conventional. So it's kind of this weird little hybrid character, but uh, we'll get into USDA on another day and on another slide. So, um, but lower interest rates, really you get a fantastic interest rate, zero down, no mortgage insurance, no loan limit, and you know lower credit score requirements. So guys, a VA loan is absolutely fantastic. If you don't own a loan, or if you don't own a home today, and you're a veteran, you're active duty, or you're National Guard, reach out to us. Let us talk to you about getting you into home ownership, buying a home, and being able to secure your future. It, it, we talked all about it. If you missed the videos from the previous weeks, go back and watch them. There's the benefits of home ownership and everything that, you know about that, the security, and you know just the peace of mind that it's your home and nobody can kick you out. So big, big thing. Now, with a VA, we can also talk about VA. We're talking about VA home loans. This is not just for buyers. VA home loans are good for refinances as well. You can do a refinance, you can cash out your mortgage, you can go up to um, almost 100% and get money out. You can't do that on any other loan program. So if you, again, are have the eligibility for the VA loan and you've been thinking you might want to do some home improvements to the house, give us a call. We can talk to you about a refinance to get that cash out. Um, we've got the VA EARL is what they call it. It is the I-R-R-R-L. <laughs> it's three R's. Um, but it is your interest rate reduction refinance loan. And that's what that stands for. Uh, that loan program is awesome. We do not have to get any pay stubs, no W-2s. We literally take your application. We run your credit report. We price the loan based on credit. And we lower your interest rate, drop your mortgage payment, and send you out loan documents to sign. So if you don't need any cash out, but you've got a little bit higher interest rate, and you've been thinking that you want to do a refinance, and you've got a VA loan today already, a VA Earl is totally awesome. So it's something that you should definitely give us a call and consider. And especially when interest rates are in, you know, uh, just under three, just above three, depending on your loan size. It's if, if you're anywhere three and a half percent or above, you should definitely be giving us a call and discussing that loan program. It's fantastic. And for somebody buying a house with their VA, remember that that VA Earl will be there and available to you if you do ever want to refinance in the future. So you do have a funding fee, and this is something that we've talked about in the past, and I'll talk about it again. With all VA loans, you do have a funding fee. That funding fee is waived if you are considered at least 10% or more disabled with the VA. So if the VA has uh, considered you disabled by 10% or more, then you will not pay the funding fee. And people say, well, what is the funding fee and why? And when I first started this, I said, maybe if you have a large down payment, even if you have VA eligibility, we may talk to you about a conventional loan. Well, why is that? Well, if you have 20% down, you're not going to pay for mortgage insurance on a conventional. If you're not considered disabled with the VA, you would still pay the funding fee. So it is a fee that we can get rid of by going to a conventional loan versus a VA loan. If you are considered disabled and there is no funding fee and you have 20% down payment, we're literally just going to look at which loan program is going to give you the best interest rate that day 
And at the end of the day, the payment's the same, the rate's the same, the loan amount is the same. So again, it's all about you and what's best for you. And we're going to make sure that we're putting you into the right loan program. So just because you have VA eligibility doesn't necessarily mean that that is the best program for you. But I'm going to tell you, it's a pretty spectacular program. So let's talk about the funding fee because what is it and why, why is it there? So basically, most, almost every loan, again, other than USDA, which they don't call it a funding fee, but it's just about the same thing. Um, every single loan, if you don't have at least 20% equity, either in the home at the time of refinancing or as a down payment at the time of purchase, you will have mortgage insurance. And mortgage insurance is an added cost monthly that you pay to insure the lender that against default. That's just basically what mortgage insurance is. So with a VA loan, they don't charge you that monthly mortgage insurance fee. What they do instead is they have their VA funding fee, and that is going to be financed. So the cost of the VA funding fee is not going to come out of pocket, but you are going to finance that fee, and it will go on top of your loan amount. So if you buy a house for $500,000 and you get a loan for $500,000 or you want to finance 100% of that loan amount or that sales price, we are going to have a funding fee that is going to go on top of that 500000 that is also going to be financed. So you're going to actually end up financing more than 100% of your sales price. So again, the funding fee does depend on whether or not you have used your VA loan before or whether you've never used it at all. First-time funding fee is less expensive than a subsequent use or using it a second or third or fourth time. Those funding fees will be more expensive than if it is the first time that you are using your benefit. And again, we'll go through those with you, but there is a funding fee. It can be waived, so definitely something to make sure that you mention when you call us so that we are running those numbers accurately. In that phone app and with that calculator, it does ask you if you are disabled, so make sure that you answer that question accurately so that it is calculating the monthly payment based on the right loan amount. But that is what your funding fee is for. It is basically wiping mortgage insurance, and at the end of the day, if you actually do the calculations on it, it is still less expensive than what it is for a monthly mortgage insurance payment on a conventional loan. So. Um, Again, something that we can absolutely talk about more in depth and detail if you want to. And, um, you know, all you got to do is give us a call. So it's 844-935-3634. You guys can find us anywhere. Go to Google, search Mortgage Mom Radio. Go to YouTube. Go to Facebook. Go to Yelp. Anywhere you put Mortgage Mom Radio, and don't forget the radio, you're going to find us. You guys want to get that handy-dandy phone app? Text us, text the word mom to 36260. And if you have any questions at all that I did not answer today, there is something that you want to know or that you've heard about with a VA loan, all you have to do is call or reach out and we will answer those questions. And if you're following us Wednesdays live at 5, those are great questions to put into the feed. Matt's going to answer those questions out loud. We're going to answer them for you right there and then. And then you get to hear the question and get to hear our answer again on Saturday morning on radio. So why not? All right. So last thing is reduced closing costs. And this is a big thing with a VA loan. Me, Mortgage Mom Radio and Movement Mortgage, the company that I work for, we do not charge our veterans or our active duty or um, uh, National Guard. We do not charge you guys normal origination fees. And we're going to get into origination fees when we get into the closing cost section of this workshop. So make sure you guys do stay tuned. Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, turned on all the notification bells so that when we get to closing cost, you guys know that that has been uploaded and that video is there. But normal origination fees, and I'm not talking about points. I'm not talking about buying down rates or loan points or anything that you've ever heard. I'm talking about origination cost. What is that? We've got underwriters. There's an underwriting fee. We've got processors. There's a processing fee. They're the normal fees that happen that it costs a company to do your loan. And that typically runs anywhere, depending on the mortgage company, from about $1,400 to anywhere as high as $2,000. We do not charge that to our VA loans. We actually completely waive that fee. That is our thankful, our thank you to you 
for what you have done for either currently serving or having served our country. So um, you will end up with lower closing costs on a VA loan than you will have on any other loan program. So keep that in mind. It, it is a, a, not something that every mortgage company does, but it is something that me and Movement Mortgage that I work for have decided that we want to honor our veterans with. So um, I believe that that is the last piece of the slide. Oh, there's one more. Look at that. We, it keeps going. Keeps going. There's such great information. And Matt, I'm so afraid to like click the button and it's going to go to the next <laughs> screen that I don't know where it ends. Um, so assumable. This is actually one really cool thing for you guys to know. So VA loans are assumable. If you have a VA loan and you decide you want to sell your house and you don't want to go buy another house and use another VA loan. So obviously you can only have... You only have so much money outstanding with VA at, VA at a time. You'll hear a lot of people tell you that you can only have one VA loan at any given time, and that's actually not true. You can have multiple VA loans outstanding at one time, but you are limited to the amount of financing that you can have outstanding at any given point in time. So if you want to sell your house and go, or you want to go buy another home, a lot of times there's not going to be enough money left for you to be able to go buy what you want, which means you've got to get out of the VA loan that you have and you've got to pay it off. But if you are ever in a situation where you don't need another VA loan and you've got a buyer that comes in and wants to assume the mortgage that you have on your loan, they can. And that's actually a huge thing. That is not something that you see on very many loan programs. Um, so very, very beneficial to you. And I'll tell you why. Interest rates are super low right now. Next year, the year after, 10 years from now, we may never see these interest rates again. If you have a, a, an interest rate that is very attractive to somebody that they cannot go out and get and you know themselves, they may very well want to assume your loan. Well, the market's not very hot. It's a buyer's market. There's a ton of listings. You might be more desirable and sell your home faster if you can offer to a buyer to assume your loan. So a, a last piece of the puzzle for the VA, that's all the information I'm going to give you right now today. Uh, but if you have any questions, again, like I said, put it in the feed. We're going to read those out loud. We're going to answer them for you. If you weren't watching us do this live on Wednesday, please make sure that you guys do tune into you, uh, not YouTube. Um, yeah, YouTube. I, I, in my mind, I'm thinking Yelp, why and why. Um, but tune into YouTube, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, make sure you turn it on all. Please like the video. We really appreciate that. We're going to keep them coming at you. And I'm going to turn the slide. Oh, look at that. There's one more. 100% cash out refi, but I already said that one, so we're okay. All right, so we're at the next slide. Next week, we're going to start on FHA. That's where we're going to um, pick up again next week. And we hope that you guys all um, enjoyed this. So again, how do you get a hold of us? You want to talk about it some more? It's 844-935-3634. And we'll be back next week.